So if you're hearing this message this morning and you're wondering, my brooks are dried or my brook is drying up, what am I going to do? This message is for you. What do you do if the brook dried up? Let's assume you are fired. You are among those who are fired this month. Let's assume you, you're, you're, we're resuming, but there's nowhere to resume. Or, or your business, you have, you have, you have, you, you've not been able to. People are losing their mortgage. People can't go cope anymore. Is that what is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things I'd like you to take home in this service is that God has a plan. God has a plan for you whenever the door is shut against you. God has a plan for his children whenever the door is shut. Whenever the brook dries up, God has a plan. It is the brook that dried up, not God. God always has a plan. Whenever a door is shut, God has a plan. So we, we, he, 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 Elijah thought, oh, the brook is dried. What am I going to do? But God spoke out his plan. At this very moment, I believe God is speaking because he has a plan. He's speaking about his plan. Do you know what God's plan is for you? Are you praying about discovering God's plan for your life? Are you thoughtful about this season? Or are you just playing and, and joining in the whining and the complaining? Or are you taking time to pray? Are you taking time to go on your knees to discover God's plan? Are you taking time to go into the world to discover what the plan of God is? God has a plan for you. I don't care what the devil does. If the devil likes, let him turn everything upside down. For God's children, he has a plan. In Isaiah 20, 60 verse 1, he said, he said, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. He said, Darkness will cover the heart. Gross darkness will cover the people. He said, But the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon thee. What God is saying there is that it, no matter how gross the darkness that covers the world is, he said, I have a way out for my people. I have a plan to show my people a way out. Hallelujah. Concerning whatever business you're doing right now, are you asking God, what's your plan? What's your plan for my company? What's your plan for my business? What's your plan for my family? What's your plan for me? Don't forget, there's no time a crisis happen like this that God doesn't have his own, a program for his own people. Have you take, are you taking time to know what that, that program is all about? This is very important. 